Hello Internet, my name is Mark Steiner, and today I'm going to be talking to you about things that I found interesting in the world that we live in. <sighs> Hello Internet. Stop. Let's rewind and see how I got here. Way back when, when I was living in Hong Kong, yes, I'm from Hong Kong, my dad told me that if I was ever serious about starting a YouTube channel, he would fund me. Fast forward to 2014, a good friend of mine told me that she wanted to start a YouTube channel, but was too afraid to. I told her I had the exact same problem, so we convinced each other that we would start a channel together, and it would boost our confidence. Three, two, one. Hi! Welcome to our channel. Um, we're obviously new here, um, but we plan to have videos out every week. We made a couple episodes, but ultimately it didn't work out. The channel that my friend and I initially started, we named The World We Live In. And you can see that that has kind of had a crossover in my channel with my intro. Well, you've already heard that at the very beginning. I'm beginning to phase that out if you've seen it all, but it was a nice touch to keep the past in my more recent videos. It was kind of my way to show where I've come from and how to pay my respects to something that my friend helped me see that I could do on my own. Fast forward a little more to my first semester of junior year, where I took a videography class. The streets of Phoenix have come alive in recent years with vivid color and murals drawing attention and people downtown. My name is Sean Bowen, and I am an artist. The work I was doing for class I did not find all that interesting, and I wasn't passionate about it. But the skills I was learning, how to shoot, camera settings, and most importantly, video editing is what I really took away from the class. I was finally confident enough to start my own YouTube channel, so I told my dad. And he said, good for you. I'll get you a Sony Handycam. And I was like, dad, I'm going to need a DSLR. So I did my research and I got the Nikon D3300, the best starter DSLR on the market. I then invested in basic gear, like my microphone. That first video was so nerve-wracking. I put myself out there for the whole world to see without any way of knowing how they would respond. I felt vulnerable. I hit the upload button for the first time, and the rest is history. That first video got 186 views, far more than I was anticipating. I was really excited. People were actually watching my content. It felt good. I felt confident. I started covering more topics that I liked. I did some movie reviews with my friends. My Deadpool review with Allison is the second most viewed video on my channel. I started a vlog, which was also received a lot better than I was anticipating. I've come a long way since that first video, and along the way I've bought some new lenses, a shotgun microphone, and some other camera gear. I've also gotten into photography because I had a DSLR, and I've fallen in love with it. Feel free to check out my website, by the way. I've learned a lot, and there's still a lot to learn, but I'm having fun. I started this YouTube channel for many reasons, but the main reason is because it gave me an outlet to talk about things that I was passionate about. Once I had started, I was hooked. I loved having full creative control and making something from nothing. I experimented with new kinds of videos, like the vlog. I started with zero subscribers and now have over 75. I started with zero views and have amassed almost 4,500. I made my first dollar on YouTube, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my dad for buying me my camera. Thank you to my mom for being my number one fan. And thank you to all of you who have watched my videos. You guys are the real MVP. 